Hello class. Mom says here. Signing on. In this tutorial, we will learn about Java constructors, their types, and how to use them with the help of examples. Let's begin. So what is a constructor? A constructor in Java is similar to a method that is invoked when an object of the class is created. Unlike Java methods, a constructor has the same name as that of the class and does not have any return type. For example, look at your screen. Here, test is a constructor. It has the same name as that of the class and doesn't have a return type. A constructor in Java is a special method that is used to initialize objects. The constructor is called when an object of a class is created. It can be used to set initial values for object attributes. Note that the constructor name must match the class name and it cannot have a return type like void. Also, note that the constructor is called when the object is created. All classes have constructors by default, actually. But if you do not create a class constructor yourself, Java creates one for you. However, then you are not able to set initial values for object attributes. Again, what is constructor in Java? Constructor is a special method that is used to initialize a newly created object. And it is called just after the memory is allocated for the object. It can be used to initialize the objects to desired values or default values at the time of object creation. Remember that. It is not mandatory for the coder to uh, write a constructor for a class. But if no user-defined constructor is provided for a class, compiler initializes member variables with default values. Here's the thing. We have rules for creating a Java constructor. And I'd like to reiterate again, number one, it should has the same name as a class. Number two, it should not return a value, not even void. Okay? And this is an example of declaring a constructor. To create a constructor, look at your screen. We have here the class named my class. And the constructor named my class. Here in the slide. In the main class here, this one, we instantiate first the constructor so as to become an object that can be called inside our main class. Note that the constructor name, my class, match the class name, my class, and it does not have a return type like void. Alright? Let's talk about now constructor parameters. Constructors can also take parameters which is used to initialize attributes. The following example adds an int y parameter to the constructor. So inside the constructor, we set x to y. 
x equals y. Here. When we call the constructor, we pass a parameter to the constructor, 5, which will set the value of x to 5. As a result, our output would be 5, obviously. Got it? Constructor overloading in Java. Java constructor overloading is a technique in which a class can have any number of constructors that differ in parameter list. Every class has a default constructor in Java. Default overloaded constructor Java for class. We have here kahanda constructor is kahanda constructor open close parenthesis. In case you do not provide this constructor, the compiler creates it for you, as I have mentioned earlier, and initializes the variables to default values. Again, constructors overloading in Java. Similar to Java method overloading, we can also create two or more constructors with uh, different parameters, and this is called constructors overloading. Here, both the constructor initialize the value of the variable language with different values. Based on the parameter passed during object creation, different constructors are called and different values are assigned. Constructor overloading in Java. I'd like to reiterate that Java constructor overloading is a technique in which a class can have any number of constructor, constructors that differ in parameter release. The compiler differentiates these constructors by taking into account the number of parameters in the list and their type. Let's analyze the sample code here. Our package name is Kahanda method. Our class name is Kahanda constructor UI or user interface. And look at your screen, we have three constructors here. That is why we have overloading constructors. So we have here the first constructor, the second constructor, and the third constructor. Okay? So look at the main program here. This is our main program. In here, we, inst we instantiated the three constructors as follows. We have D1, D2, and D3. Why? That is to get the value initializes here. We have the method display. As you can see, we have here first constructor we did not assign any value and then on the second we have 30 and then on the third one we have 30 and 40 we have the method display and here we call the method display where is the instruction for our method display here what does display method says? It brings out the value of value 1 and value 2. As instructed system that out that print line value 1 and then calls the variable value 1 and so as the value 2. As a result, our output would be 
Once we run the program, inside first constructor. So that is the result of this line system that out that with line inside first constructor. And then on the output we have inside second constructor the result of this line inside third constructor that is the result of this line and then value one so that is now our method here so from the three constructor overloading passing to the method display so we have value 1 10 value 2 20 that is the result of this one this command line and then we have again for d2 from the main program for d2 we have value 130 and value to 0 so that is the product of this constructor here the second constructor and then we have here value 1 on the output again we have the value 130 and value to 40 that is the product of our third constructor here and that explained our output based on the source code that we have here. And that ends our discussion. Thanks to W3Schools and Programmers for the input. This is Mom says saying, it will take some time, but you will really shine. So, be patient. So watch out for more video lectures. God bless everyone. Thank you for watching. This is Mom Says, signing off.